today we are going to continue in our second subtopic of chapter 6 6.2 linear equations in two variables so let's look at your first learning standard identify linear equations in two variables and describe the characteristics of the equations now let's look at these three examples i have x minus 2y equals to over 3 equals to 7 i also have 3h minus 1 equals to 5k and 6p plus 4q equals to 9 all these three examples here are equations why because they have equal to symbol that's why they are called as equation but why are they linear linear because each variable is actually to the power of one the power of each variable is one and why are they in two variables because in each equation it has two different types of letters or two different types of alphabet so that's why we call them as linear equations in two variables again the characteristics of linear equations in two variables are the first one the power of the variable is one and it has two variables now let's look at these more examples the first one 4x plus 3y equals to 17 there are two variables over here which is x and y and both variables is to the power of one so this is a linear equation in two variables next 5t minus 3s equals to 4 here we also have two variables which is t and s and both variables is to the power of 1 again this is also a linear equation in two variables next i have here 3m plus 2 equals to 7m there are m's at the at both sides of the equation but the type of the letters type of the variable is the same so this is actually a linear equation but in one variable this is not what we are looking for we are looking for linear equations in two variables okay so the next one three times p plus q equals to uh, sorry three times p plus two equals to q over two so again this is actually a linear equation in, in two variables because there are two variables which is p and q and that p and q is actually to the power of one so the last three equations are what we call as non-linear equation because they have non-linear expressions for the first one over here 4h plus 3 equals to 1 over h 1 over h is a non-linear expression so this makes all this equation as a non-linear equation same goes for the last uh, for the second one over here a b plus 8c equals to 3 a b here shows that this is actually a non-linear expression since this is a non-linear expression, it makes the whole equation over here as the non-linear equation. Last one, 3y squared plus 2 over 3x equals to 8. These are also a non-linear equation because of this y squared. Okay, so please remember, please recall back, expressions such as xy, 1 over x and x over y are non-linear expressions. Okay. Those are, these are for the first learning standards. Let's look at the second learning standard. You have to form linear equations in two variables based on a statement or a situation. Okay, it is similar to your previous subtopic, linear equation in one variable, but it has uh, another step, which is to identify variables. So, you have to identify the two variables in the situation and you have to set each variable to a different alphabet okay set each variable to a different letters and then it goes to the same steps as before you have to identify keywords in order for you to know whether you have to add minus multiply or divide and then you must make sure each term will have the same unit and then finally you have to simplify your answer now let's look at a few examples here First situation, the difference between two numbers is 11. So, the uh, the variable here in the sentence are two numbers. The unknown that you have here are the two numbers. Set one number with a letter, another, sec another number with another letter. And another keyword here is difference. Difference means you have to subtract. So, your final answer will be S minus T equals to 11. Now, Second situation, Kamalia save a P ringgit Malaysia from her pocket money while Murni save Q ringgit Malaysia from her pocket money. 
their total saving at the end of the month is 250 ringgit Malaysia. So the two variables here is uh, saving from Kamalia and Muni. The variables are P and Q. So now your next keyword is total. And then you have to add up P plus Q equals to 250. Okay. So next. Third situation, the total number of boys and girls in class 1 Gemilang is 34. The variables are boys and girls. Boy will have the different letter, girl will also will have a different letter. Again, the keyword is total, you have to add up x plus y equals to 34. That is your final answer for situation 3. Now, look at situation 4. The sentence are quite long. So, the price ticket to an amusement park is x ringgit Malaysia for adult and y ringgit Malaysia for children. Fami brings his family consists of four adults and three children to the amusement park. The total payment made by Fahmi is 80 ringgit. So here first you have to multiply for the price ticket of adult and then you have to add up with the price ticket for the children. So 4 times x plus 3 times y will equal to 80. So you have to remember this part is actually the most important part in, for you to solve uh, questions involving linear equations into variable after this subtopic. Okay? We will continue in the next video.